and for some reason I just didn't feel like voice texting it or texting it. Um, so what I'm going to say to you, Malik, who I left because you wanted to act like shit, you now, I, you play this game all the time. I'm not jealous of Sharmonda or Amy. I don't have a problem with them. The things, like when I, when you try your shit and I try to explain things to get you to understand, you mistake that. And I'm only telling you that because I can see what pattern you're trying now. There's only one female I have a problem with in this movement now. And you will cut ties with Lasidi Shakur immediately, or you will never have me back. And if you want to say, oh, it's about unity, I won't. So you're going to choose to keep one me, right? I left. So you won't ever get me back unless you meet my demands after you wanted to be a ballsy motherfucker last night. You should have known better. You should have known that was going to come with a consequence. But you know what happened, Malik? You watching? Is that you? I hope it is. You know what you didn't realize last night? You're so used to getting your ass kicked kissed because you have so much money and because of your social status that you thought last night would be the end of it and you thought you would bitch me and get me to bow. No way. You have two choices. You can single that bitch out. You don't have to single her out of the movement, but you're done being her friend. You're done talking to her. Or you and I are over forever. And I will completely stay out of the movement, out of your way. You can be with her. I'll laugh at you because I know it ain't real, no matter how much you both want to pretend. And that's fine. Because there is no way in hell that you and I can be together and I can be happy and not resent you. Unless you cut ties with Lasini Shakur. 100%. I forbid you from speaking to her or associating with her. That doesn't mean that she no longer has the freedom to be in this black movement. But you will never speak to her again. And you will not attend that ball. And if you won't do that to her, if you won't stop being her friend, then you'll never be my man again. There is no compromise. I am a woman. I deserve respect. You crossed that line. I talked to you about things, trying to get you to understand. I talked to you like a mature adult. And all you did was use that to cause problems and to stop shit, to instigate me. That way you could act like I'm jealous. What the fuck do I have to be jealous of Lassini Shakur for? I've saved people from human trafficking a lot longer than she has. Just when you thought it was over, there's more, and more, and more. So you didn't, didn't call me. Now there's audio and video. Um, cause you know what, I'm not anybody that's interested in. You're not interesting to you. God, my neck looks like it. Only on Tahakabay.com. You should have chilled. I watched it. <sighs> Coming this Saturday on Saturday Night Live. Only on Tahakabay.com. Morse World TV exclusive. He says Tahaka Bay. Toronto Johnson. Huh?
I go yeah. for a Moore's Court on Brother Toronto Johnson. And anybody who's I was trying to get him out the bed. With this scandal. Like anyone get up. With these videos of me and my wife defrauding the people. Check it. I never saw my brothers and sisters serving these packages when I was with Dawid Ali Hill and them and Taj and them used to come to Chicago. Uh, uh, I laid them old boys to rest. They was dead to sleep anyway. Sleep walking. They keep talking. I probably kept a charge and I don't care what any say. Nobody. Yeah, I'm the people's grand chief and the people's grand chief ain't seen a man I can't be. Only the gods is my equal. You mortals, you just my sequel. You just my sequel. What the 85 us Dip, dip, divers. Trying to sell the lavas. lavas. You already did. Who done got up in your head? Huh? Rent free. You wanna know who sent me? Who sent you? Oh, play, play. over there's more and more and more Sorry, Dad. Didn't call me. now there's audio and video because um, you know what i'm not anybody that's interesting to you. you're not interesting to you god my neck looks like only on Tahakabay.com. You should have chilled. <sighs> Coming this Saturday 
on Saturday Night Live, only on TahakaBay.com. Morse World TV exclusive. Me and my wife fried the people. Tahaka Bay front line till the law called my number. If you number. a friend of the Moors, then you a friend of mine. I was told to watch my enemies, now hold my line. Those who speak against the prophet, they speak against me. And I'm speaking about the prophet over Drew Ali. Who was the first to remind you and bind you back? To Morocco, the mountains, Mississippi, and Quebec. Told you you wasn't black. Prove it with straight facts. You tripping off trucks, you need to be tripping off that. Now here we go again, acting like you a slave. The same people talk European on the face. And look at that women buying European hair. No love for self, but do the men really care? Hell no, but they got a love for Europe. Whole generation chasing pills, weed, and syrup. Yeah, they love no yachty. Tucci, Gucci, Kodak, Amigo, Ross, Lucid. But when the love for the woman look like your mother, I guess they say it's all black when it's under the cover. Now, sight. I'll be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember That's right I'll be that more you gon' remember To the Hall of Fame Front line Till the law call my number Hey, I'll be that more you gon' remember I'ma be that more you gon' remember That's right I'll be that more you gon' remember To Hall of Fame Front line Till the law call my number All you super scholars holler This era for the workers You ain't building on the ground Then you work within a twerker You look and sound good But that's only on the Probably working for the people. Now tell me what's your purpose. Ain't worried about your homie, but know that I know every mo that rock a fast. He ain't my bro. Yeah, you know I ain't slow. I seen it all before. How they try to kill the prophet. It was so for slow. And so yeah, I got it right one, now. Two. Don't say that I'm not down. I'm coming for my fast. I, I want my town, my shirt, my stores, my school, my nation. Sick and tired of the procrastination and debate. Y'all keep hate when love is the savior. You don't love yourself, so you can't love your neighbor. That's why you killing, fighting, Murray out of your race. If you ain't for Moorish world, then get out of my face. Cause Chinese love China, Italians love Italy. If you used to love the Moorish world, come on and build it with me. Let's go. I'll be that more you gon' remember. I'ma be that more you gon' remember. That's right. I'll be that more you gon' remember. To Hawk of Bay front line. Till the law call my number. I'll be that more you gon' remember. Check one, two, check one, two. Let me make sure y'all can hear me. Let me see. Can y'all hear me? Check one, two. I'm actually using, uh, I've been testing my equipment for check one, two. High sound. High sound. I sound all right? I'm actually testing my equipment. This is why I'm back in my house. I'm actually testing my equipment for the studio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had to get a new audio box. This is dessert for my dinner. Let's go big time. <laughs> hey, family, I sound good? Yeah, I, I, um, I got a, a separate audio box. Oh, man, they say I got a separate audio box. So when I'm at the studio, if I got to go live here, uh-oh, 20 years younger. Good goodness. You know what? The European told me, I'm going to tell you, I thought the European was trying to hustle me. So when I went there, <clears throat> if anybody want to do um, podcasts, let me tell you, I used to use this audio box right here. This is, is anybody do podcasts? Anybody think I should do a class on how to start a podcast and the equipment that you need to use? A lot of people be asking me in the background and it'd be hard for me to talk to just one person at one time. Um. And so I should do a short, maybe an hour video to show people how to do this. And I don't even use all of the techniques that I know. But this is an audio box. You need an audio box. And in fact, you can get an audio box for $100. This one usually retail for like $150. But you can catch them online for like $100. You know what I'm saying? You can catch them online now for $100. When I got this, I think this was $159, $160. Um, and then they got one called the Scarlet. That's pretty good, too. But the one that I got today is uh, uh, Universal Audio. You follow me? And so I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. Um, 
and then you need a good condenser mic. People always think that you need a whole bunch of expensive stuff. You really don't. Um, you really don't. What you really need is some good software. Um, Studio One by Personas have good software. You know what I'm saying? And it's a drop and drag. It's easy. And I, I think I'll I think I'll do that for the family, for anybody that want a podcast. But with that being said, family, we got to get started, man. We got, man, we got Angel Snup Nup in the building. And Angel Snup Nup, he, a former member of the Nation of Islam, is going to share with us. <laughs> oh, the how this going to go. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I do. There we go, Olivia. There, maybe members only. There we go. I agree. I agree. Um, ah, man, this is gonna be heavy. Let's just get it started because I've been taking too too much time trying to get my uh, audio and all that together. I was, I was, I was, I was stuck on the mic. Oh, oh yeah. In the video that you seen in the beginning, uh, for some reason, uh, I was gonna leave this stuff alone. And some reason that uh, 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 Sinetta uh, today and him and the girl, uh, my second, she won't be my wife, I would imagine, that stalks me, did a video today. It was all over the place. And so I say, okay, you know, I'm going to, um... <laughs> thank you, Sister Jasmine. <laughs> thank you, Olivia Brox. But I say, you know what, what I'm going to do is, uh, I think they thought that I emptied the bag. And so I said, you know what? Um, I'm going to keep going in the bag. This is a bottomless bag. <laughs> it's the gift that keep on giving. It's a bottomless bag. Hold up, hold up. I can't. They, I, I, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let, me, let me change this real quick. So they plan. Let me see if I can change this real quick. All right. All right, let me see how this sounds. Watch it. Let me see something. All right. So, family, I'm sitting here with a bottomless bag of all of the photos that have been around the internet. I apologize, Mark Anthony, if I allowed your super chat to go unnoticed. There you go, I found it. I'm showing myself since we're going big time. My apology, there's a lot of work that I do behind the scenes. I'm a one man machine, I'm a one man machine. But I wanna thank Mark Anthony for coming through. I wanna thank all of y'all who hit the super chat, but now, but now what I must do, I must tell you, there's more, there's more. And there's more. So family, since there's more, I figured I'll give you more. So let's go over it one more time before our guests come in. All right. Just when you thought it was over, there's more and more. And more. So you didn't. Didn't call me. Now there's audio and video. And video. Um. Cause you know what? I'm not anybody that's interested in you. I'm not interested in you. Got my neck looks like it's gone. Only on Tahakabay.com. I got him stuffed up. You should have chilled. <sighs> Coming this Saturday on Saturday Night Live, only on to HawkerBay.com, Morse World TV exclusive. runs deep <laughs> there's more and there's more now I know that they were sitting home a matter of fact they don't live together I know they were sitting on zoom 
and they were probably saying, well, he put so much out, he can't have no more. Now let's strike. Let's talk about his wife. Matter of fact, let's find some stuff on his cousin. Let's see what else we can find. Well, well, well. You were wrong. You can make all the stuff up you want. You can tell whole truth, half truths. One thing that you will never have. One thing you will never have is all the pictures that I have. <laughs> One thing you'll never have is all the videos that I have. So family, Saturday, Saturday on Morse World TV, not here. Saturday. If you are not a member, you actually will be able to purchase it. We are going to let Nepal pay for the rehabilitation of the second floor of Unity Hall. <laughs> but without no further ado, y'all ready for Crazy and Criminal? This is the show you've been waiting for. Crazy in criminal he's crazy i'm <laughs> criminal <laughs> if if somebody just tuned in they wouldn't know that it's a running joke you know what i'm saying they would think that we super that you really crazy and i'm really a criminal oh my <laughs> but if y'all just tuned in and let me tell you something it was a sister on the show that says <clears throat> that angel snup nup was crazy because <laughs> he had been um, put into uh, um, an institution and had to fight his way out. Uh, but the funny part, while she was spinning that credit card, he was as sane as he want to be. <laughs> <laughs> when, he, when he took that credit card back and cut that credit card up and, <laughs> and, and say, that's it, then he became crazy. And so, and then we had Ali Muhammad says that I'm a lifetime criminal, like it's a member of, of, of the ARPP or something. So as I'm a lifetime member. So whenever Angel Snupnup is on the show, you're going to be listening to Criminal <laughs> and Crazy. That should be a podcast, man. You want to do a podcast, Snup Nup? <laughs> criminal and Crazy. We might get make a couple of dollars off that to help the people. I know that's right. Criminal and crazy, double C. But but now let's get to it. We got my brother in here, Javon Muhammad. It sounds like he might be a brother of the nation. It's not. I want you to be careful with this one. I want you to be careful with this one, Snup Nup. Oh no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Because 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 I'm telling you, uh, uh, my brother's in the NOI. At first, I was going to share some of my information, and then I thought about it, and I said, you know what? Angel got to be on his own tonight, and I'm just going to ask you. <laughs> let me take the hit. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I'm going to let you take the I'm going to take the hit later. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Brock say shout out to Snuff Nup. Now, hey. my brother, tell us a little bit. I'm going to try to find my other uh, microphone, Jack. But tell us a little bit about yourself, bro, um, for those who just coming in. Because it appeared to me that some people just came in, uh, maybe not be uh, not used to our uh, uh, dialogue here. So just briefly tell them a little bit about yourself uh, as it relates to you being a member of the Nation of Islam, because I think that's one of the qualifications um, for you to even speak on the topic. You actually was a member of the Nation of Islam. So uh, tell the people a little bit about yourself. All right. To make a long story short, we're going to do this real quickly. Um, I was introduced to the Nation of Islam uh, in the late 60s, early 70s. I was about eight, eight, nine years old. Uh, I have family members that actually were members uh, when Elijah Muhammad was with us. And they gave us Mississippi folks the books. 
And my mother and my people didn't want nothing to do with that stuff. They were Baptist Christians or whatever. But I was attracted to those teachings. And I got those books out of the trash. My mother had thrown all those books in the trash. And I went in the trash. And I began to read uh, Nation of Islam Propaganda. Oh, and, oh, oh, oh like, stop right there. Stop right there. Can you hear me? Yeah. And, and make sure I'm sounding good. I can hear me in my background. But, brother, why you say Nation of Islam Propaganda? Well, you could say teachings, however you want to. You can say teachings or the beliefs of I the mean, Nation of Islam. What make you call it propaganda? I call it propaganda now because this is it's, it's beliefs that you propagate. You just oh oh oh, oh 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 collective mind radios FOI in the building. He said he got footage of the baby planes. Uh oh okay, well we're gonna talk about the, the, this footage and the baby plane. We we wanna we wanna <laughs> talk about all right. foot. I told yeah. you don't play. <laughs> we want to talk, play. About, and that's, that's that's good. That's that's good. Remember, I believe these things too at one time. But I I was a I don't want to piss nobody out. But I was a child. I was a little baby boy. I was a teenager when you know I'm a grown man now. You can't bring that kind of stuff to me now. I'm grown. But <laughs> I was going to do to the to those teachers when I was a little boy. I always wanted to be part of the nation of Islam. Uh, I was too young. And uh, Elijah Muhammad uh, died, or he transitioned, or they say he just he he's he's on the mother plane. Matter of fact, he did. Hey, brother, let's just get into it. I think people know yeah. who you are, brother. Yeah. So help us understand. Do you know the construct of the story of the mother plane? Because we're gonna start with that first, and man, we're going on a ride for for the next hour and a half. Do you know the construct of the story of the mother plane? Where did it come from? How how is it told? Uh, according to uh, who? How is it told? Do you know the, well, whole the only story? how it, the how only it version that I know of is what we find in Message to the Black Man of America, the nineteen sixty five Black Man in America. That's that's the version is that it? I yeah. All right, now that's it. Them. Now anything somebody add to it or take away. That's where we get this from. Message to the black man in America. That's the, the, the core. That's the foundation. Anything else added or taken away, you need to question because people do that. We In the nation of Islam, we call it sciencing. You take the teachings and you take away and you add to make, make it more so like you, you're advancing in the, in the teachings. Elijah Muhammad taught what it is. You don't have to add to it. You don't have to take away. It, like they say, it is what it is. You don't have to go through all that stuff. But you have those where, you know, brother, I look more deeper into it. And they start putting their spin on it. No, just take the story as it is told and, and message to the black man of America. It's simple as that. And simply, the mother plane is simply a vessel, according to the teaching of Elijah Muhammad. It's, it's nothing but a vessel that comes towards the end of the white man's rule. That's going to bring this nation down to his knees. The uh, mother plane, I forgot what the size was, but it was it's this, this large spaceship type and it has small spaceships within it. And these small spaceships, these small crafts have a bomb. And according to the teachings of Elijah Muhammad, when that time comes, these planes are going to come out of the mother plane to America and drop these bombs in different areas in the country and they would drill deep like a one mile and basically going to blow the place up. That's that's the teachings. And nothing will grow oh, here. Oh, 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 oh. They're going to blow the whole earth up? No, just this, this is just America. Just America, just America, okay. This is America. And Elijah Muhammad, according to the teachings, Nothing will live here. Nothing will grow here. Not even a blade of grass for, I think, about a thousand years or a hundred years, something like that. I forgot exactly what the exact time. You know, I'm not familiar with the teachings. I don't get off into that like I used to. I don't remember exactly, but that's the that's the uh, that's the purpose of the mother plane. And according to Louis Farrakhan, the the 144,000 before all this happens. 
the 144,000, the chosen people will have a seat on the brother plane and get out of out of America before all this stuff happens. This, this, uh, that's basically, I, I, you know, I've always wondered about that because I'm like, OK, we're doing all this teaching. It's about 40 million brothers and some black people in this country. And it's, it's a lot of supporters of Nation of Islam and these teachings and whatever. And you're only talking about 144,000. What what's what's going to happen to the rest of us, the ones that don't make it? And according to the, to uh, Elijah, I mean, Farrakhan's people, if you fat, you can't even get on the mother plane. You got to have a certain weight in order to get on the mother plane. No, so if you get on, where you getting so this from? This is what I heard from Louis Farrakhan's people. Now, it does not say that in the message to the black man. It has no qualification. It does not even talk about those things, who qualify, who don't qualify. It just talks about the destruction of America, these planes. Now, we have something called UFOs, and the believers in these teachings are saying that these UFOs are the mother plane and these baby planes, right? Right. My problem here is, sir, UFO means unidentified flying object. It's, under, it's unidentified. How do you know this is your mother plane? Now, mind you, Brother Tahaka, I saw in the 80s, was it the, it was the late 70s or the 80s? I told you I live in St. Louis. And it wasn't, it wasn't even me. It was myself, and it was like six or seven of us. There was this round red object St. Louis has what they call the arch. And it was this big red object. We don't know what it is too far away, Kate. But you saw this big red object floating above the arch. And then you saw these small little red ones come out of the, the large and start spinning and going around. And oh, you've you seen them too. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, I seen that. That might was the mother plane. Right. But it's called unidentified flying object. But of course, when I seen it, it fits into my belief system. So I'm like, that's the mother plane. Hey, y'all, it, it wasn't even just me as a believer. I had some but, other friends and some other relatives that was out there and we saw this whole, this, this thing also. But if I be fair, right, it says that um, uh, the minister Louis Farrakhan commented on the teachings. He says the Honorable Elijah Muhammad told us of a giant mother plane that is made like a universe, spheres within spheres. White people, mm -hmm. quote unquote, white people call them unidentified flying objects. Mm -hmm. So he's saying that he know what they are and you know, I know what they are, but Europeans call them unidentified flying objects. So to you, it was unidentified flying objects, but he's saying that the NOI know exactly what it is. No, you don't. You don't know that that's, that's, what, that's what they believe. No, but Elijah that's what they Muhammad, believe. Hold up, hold up. Elijah yeah. Muhammad, this is, his, this is the teaching. So he's right. saying this is what it is. So it's saying that Europeans don't know what it is. And when you've seen it, you equate it to the mother plane. But then when you let the NOI go, now you join the Europeans. Is that what it is? <laughs> you know what crazy joined the Europeans? <laughs> I'm asking you crazy. I'm crazy. Right. right, right. Now, when I believe. I'd be enjoying having my conversation with you. Exactly. exactly. Look, when I believed. I, is that fit into my belief system? But when you outside of your belief system, and you can see that, that it's called belief. That's the teaching. There's no evidence. You have no proof. Did you touch this this thing? No, you did not. And these these images, these images and things that we have, it's it's just that it's still unidentified. These things did not, um, you did not interact with it. You didn't even get close enough to see exactly what it is. You, you don't, you, you really don't know. You just say that because of your belief system, but you don't have no, there's no little man, green man or something that came out of the UFO. I, 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 Asalaamu Alaikum to you, did it? Hey, let me, let me say this. <laughs> hey, listen, family. <laughs> listen, family. 
new brother, where's the link you want to join? Everybody can join, but I got to get uh, with, with at least an hour with my guest then because uh, he's a guest. So we have to be uh, gracious to the guests that would allow me to laugh, allow himself to laugh, and allow us to touch these tough topics. Um, if you do hit the link after we begin, we finish conversing, I ask that you re be, you be respectful and uh, don't let your religion uh, turn you into a fanatic. Uh, right. Be respectful uh, because this brother actually has experience in the NOI. He left the NOI and that could be a part of the reason why he call them UFOs. And we're going to get to the bottom of it now. When you were with the NOI, did you believe hook, line, and sinker? Were you all in that the mother plane exists with a sphere within a sphere? Quite honestly, no. And quite <laughs> honestly, I, I've always... See, with me, <laughs> with, with me, what attracted me to the nation of Islam was the brotherhood and the sisterhood. But if you, but I love Elijah Muhammad. I love the nation of Islam. When I was a child, I loved this, all that. So when you accept the nation of Islam, you have to accept it all. You can't just say, well, I only want this little piece and I only, you have to believe. And I wasn't sincere believe. I tried to believe those things, but I had questions, something about it just, and I, I always questioned religion. Even, even when I was a Baptist in, in the backwoods of Mississippi, I always questioned religion anyway. Something about the stuff don't sound right. Something here, eh, but you know it's all that I know, and I just went with it. It's, it's so, so I just I just went with it. But what, it's what, something about what it. Was you, what made you start speaking out and having conversations like this? Do you think Do you think this does any good? Do you think uh, uh, you are you Do you feel as though you are enlightening people? Oh, I remember one time on the show you said we need to stop believing all of this stuff. <laughs> You still, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said. You said something to that to that effect, and then you be making little you be making little comments like I'm grown now and I don't believe in no fact. <laughs> like, <laughs> like well, you gotta look at this. You gotta look at it this way, brother. Um, Nation of Islam teachings, the Bible, the Quran, all these different religions and whatever. Remember, in the in their infancy. They were given to people who were illiterates. When Nation of Islam teachings came on the scene, the people, the masses of our people were illiterates. We wasn't, we wasn't what we are today. We wasn't that educated. And we took things, the majority of people, ancient people, we took things on face value. And we didn't have no science. We didn't have the technology that we have today. We are told certain things and it's just accepted on face value. And people like myself, back in those days, if you stood up and questioned these belief systems, I could outright be, I could be ostracized. I could be made mockery of. You could even be murdered for questioning these things because the powers that be found out that you can use religious and spiritual teaching as a means of control instead of using large armies to control the masses. If I feed them these belief systems, then I can control them better. Because if you notice under these belief systems, you get few rebellions. It's, it's very few because the people become docile. They wait on the mother plane. They wait on Jesus. They wait for something except that gun and that grenade and that bazooka and that <laughs> tank. So you're more easily controlled. There's no way we could live in the United States with all the crap that goes on here and we as docile as we are right now. It's because yeah. our minds are filled up with all these different things. And also we're, 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 we're lazy. And uh, instead of doing something myself, I just wait on the mother plane to show up. I'll, I'll wait for Jesus. You, I'll... You, 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 you do have a valid point right there. I used to uh, tell people all the time, um, when you look at those of other nationalities outside of the country and they're facing oppression they'll fight with a stone they'll fight yeah. with a raggedy uh weapon they'll fight with a slingshot they'll fight with anything we just take it just take it they'll fight a tank with a stone <laughs> they they don't want to take that oppression they'll they'll throw rocks at a stone 
they, they'll run up in something with their own body and just let it all rip. Boom. You know what I mean? But I think you, you do got a good point there. So you to believe, so you believe that uh uh that brothers, I don't believe that brothers in the NOI waiting on a mothership. They do for self. Well, they are doing for self. That's what I liked about the teaching is that that's what really attracted me to the teachings because it was so real, you know, at, at the time it, it was so real. The teachings was you got to do for your own, even though we believe in Master Farad Muhammad, even though we believed in these different the mother plane, the emphasis is you got to do for yourself. You can't wait on these things. You got to do for the now. That's what I liked about those, those teachings. But at the same time, it's sort of contradictory because in reality, you are. They are waiting on this mother plane. They are waiting. They are waiting for God to do this and God to do that. Mm -hmm. they're, they're still waiting. It's sort of a, a, like a contradiction because you're saying that you have to do for yourself and depend on yourself. But at the same time, you are praying to this God to bring this mothership to change your condition, take the white man out of power and put you in power or save you or whatever. You're still depending on that. Also, Brother Tahaka, this is another strange thing that got me about the National Islam teaching. They teach, there's a book, matter of fact, called The Fall of America. Elijah Muhammad is teaching the fall of America, the doom, the end of right. America. I began to think about this and I'm like, okay, the fall of America, this is the end, the, the, the doom of America. But yet and still, you having babies and making families and starting businesses, you're investing in something that you talk about is, is doomed to, to be destroyed. I, I, I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't you're making some powerful get points, that. brother. You gotta write these points down because when they come on the show now and they, they want some answers in the NOI now. Come on now, because because they don't believe in the heaven in the sky, they do they have it right here, like a Moorish American do. Too. Absolutely. Heaven, you, heaven on earth. But but what but what you're talking is is that they stack it up uh 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 their riches and their comforts and uh Elijah said it's gonna be done. They're gonna matter of fact, let me read this. Let me read this um some of this theology, uh not theology of time, so don't get it twisted. Uh yeah, that was uh supposedly quoted by the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan. It says the honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the wheel was built on the island of Nippon, which mm -hmm. is now called Japan, mm -hmm. by some of the original scientists. It took 15 billion in gold at the time to build it. It was made of the toughest steel. America mm -hmm. does not know the composition of the steel used to make an instrument like it. It is a circular plane. And the Bible says, that it never makes turns because of its circular nature it can stop and travel in directions at speeds of thousands of miles per hour he said that there are 1500 smaller wheels in this mother wheel which is a half mile by half mile which is a half mile by half mile this mother wheel is like a small is like a small human built planet. Each one of these planes carry three bombs. Mm. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said these planes were used to set up mountains on earth. The Quran says like this, we have raised mountains on earth lest it convulse with you. How do you raise a mountain? And what purpose what is the purpose of a mountain? Have you ever tried to balance a tire? You need weights to keep to keep the tires balanced. That's how the earth is balanced with mountain ranges. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that we have a type of bomb that when it strikes the earth, a drill on it. It's time to go into the earth and explode at the height that you wish the mountain to be. If you wish to take down and bring up a mountain one mile high, but it would destroy everything within the 50 mile, 50 mile radius. The white man writes, 
in his above top secret memos of UFOs. He sees them around his military installations like they are spy. The mother wheel is dreadful looking thing. White folks are making movies now to make these planes look like fiction, but it's based on something real. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad says the mother plane is so powerful that with sound vibrating in the atmosphere, just with the sound, she can crumble buildings. Minister Louis Farrakhan excerpts from the divine destruction of America. Can she avert it? 1996. <laughs> what you have to say about that? Mountains was made. This is a. This is belief. You can believe anything that you want to. This is this is this is belief. And what gets me here is these teachings have been around going on 100 years. Now, if these teachings wasn't around for such a long time, then we could say, yeah, yeah, one second. Future thought. Nobody is here to prove nothing wrong. We're having a conversation about it. Absolutely. We're having a conversation about it. You're welcome to join on the conversation. Nobody is proving anything wrong. We're, 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 we're logically, uh, from our logic, uh, yeah, making sense out of the conversation. It's a conversation, Fruitcher Thought. You're welcome to join us in a few. Calm down. Go ahead, bro. Absolutely. That's that's all what it is because I can't. I'm not. I'm not here. And we're not talking tonight to try to convert or try to get people not to believe these things or, or whatever. No. We're just having a conversation. Commercial. Commercial we're just break. having a conversation. Just on, when you thought it was over, there's on, more. And more, and more. So you didn't, didn't call me. Now there's audio and video. Oh, because you know what? I'm not anybody that's interested in you. You're not interested to you. Come my neck looks like it's gone. Only on Tahakabay.com. You should have chilled. <sighs> Coming this Saturday on Saturday Night Live, only on to HawkerBay.com. Morse World TV exclusive. He says to Hawker Bay, Toronto Johnson, huh? I call yeah. for a Morse. Back to what you were saying. <laughs> that commercial so smooth. <laughs> it's commercial. Ooh. Back to <laughs> that was so smooth. Back I to love that. Saying. I gotta get. I gotta get my uh, membership. I need to check that out. I need to get my membership. I'm getting that. I'm getting that tomorrow. You remind me if you don't see me purchase tomorrow. You remind me. I got to. I got to get that. I gotta be part of that. Yeah, but that but that, that was so smooth. So, so what happened, what happened, um, where were we at? Where were we at? Yeah, we just talked about the mother plane and, and the, the existence of the mother plane. Look, these teachers have been around for 100 years. When is this mother plane going to do a stizzy? That's my question. I mean, we keep talking. You make mockery of, of, of our people that believe in Jesus. Talk about Jesus is going to come back and Jesus haven't showed up after 2,000 years. Now, you wait on a mother plane to come and do something to America. And it's going on 100 years. Pretty soon it's going to be 2,000 years. When is this plane? There, there is never, they never put time tables on these things. They just, want you to, they just want you to say, oh, the mother plane is coming. And you're supposed to wait and wait and wait. Now, if that was a cab, you have a problem. If you call a cab, you're not going to wait and wait and wait like that. You're going to say, hey, man, what the hell's up with that? When you going to come? I, I, don't, I don't understand the, the, the behavior of people because you're not going to let a cab get away with that. If the cab don't show up at a certain amount of time, you're going to get on, on the cab driver and the company's case. Hey, where, where you at, man? You say you're supposed to be blah, blah, blah. But you're going to actually tell me you're going to wait on Jesus for 2,000 years. You're going to wait on the mother plane for 100. 
and you're gonna wait for Zulu Nation come or whatever from the whatever. Uh, Marcus Garvey gonna come back out the grave in, in the year three thousand. No, but hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, brother. Why are you going so hard on the NOI though? You think? Do you think it sets our people back? Some good brothers come out of the NOI. Uh, I'm one. Right. The you only think- reason why the only reason why I exist is because the nation of Islam. So, so let me ask you a question. And, and with all due respect to my brothers in the NOI, are you equating the Mother Plane story with Santa Claus and Easter bunnies and all of that? Now, please don't. <laughs> now, you be careful when you answer this. <laughs> because you're taking it lightly, brother. I need to know. I, I, put, I, put, I put that story in the same category as Santa Claus, the Easter bunny, my fair lady, and all the other, all the other allegories and mythology and hey, things. Brother, just Stop. It, it falls. It falls. It falls into the same category. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You have to have an immature mind. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it takes an immature mind in order to accept this as a reality. There's a reason why it's called belief. On the back of the Muhammad speaks, Elijah Muhammad said, "These are the things that we believe. We believe that Master Farad Muhammad came to to America." Uh, 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 July 4th, 1930. These are the things that we believe. This, this is a belief. If you believe, it makes you feel good. It helps you in life. It's cool. But at the same time, I'm serious, man. You, I mean, but at the same time, you have to understand that these, these are these are things to me. Like when we give children Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, we give these things to children because they because we always say. Children need something to believe in, and we give that. To me, you can give some, a child something to believe in, but it could be real. You know, damn well, ain't no Santa Claus or no Easter Bunny. Why we always got to give our children fictional crap? Why you can't give them something real to believe in? So, like, so let, me, let me ask you, do you believe in extraterrestrials, but you just don't believe that it's the, it's the description that is told from uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Is that what it is? Because you say you've seen something yourself. Yeah, but I can't explain it. I don't know what I saw. It was yeah, unidentified exactly. flying objects. So that's what I'm saying. Do you do you, you believe in um, that is something? Um, but the story as given from the NOI, you don't believe that. Is that is that? It's possible. No, nothing is nothing is beyond possibility. Right. It's possible that there's other life more intelligent than us. It, it's, it's possible. I got but some thing, footage, but, of, but it's I got also possible. Of, I got some footage of, I got some footage of some um some strange things in the night. Yeah, well, me but personally, I, don't know, I can't say it's the mother plane or it's a fifteen hundred. Well, I I have experienced strange things, like when they talk about the spiritual world. I myself have experienced strange things that I cannot explain. I cannot explain them. I got my I got run over by a truck, a spiritual truck when I was a little boy. A spirit hold on, hold on, hold up, snap nah, up. Yeah. You know you're crazy already. <laughs> you know I'm criminal. <laughs> yeah, you criminal. <laughs> you crazy. What do you mean a spiritual truck? We was in Mississippi and we lived next to this highway. And it was no big deal because you heard cars and trucks going up and down the highway all the time. So I'm laying there. This, mind you, this is broad daylight. This is not night. This is broad daylight. Sunny, sunny, beautiful sunny day. I heard this sound like a truck getting real close to me. Sound closer than the normal trucks and cars passing by the house. And this truck, this green uh, it just was an all green truck looking thing. It came through the wall and ran me over. It ran me over. Man, this fool crazy. I'm out of here. <laughs> now look. Now this is the thing, Brother Tahaka. Now this is the thing. My sisters was in another room in front of me. And they came to my room and before I could tell them, hey, I got run over by a truck. They told me, did you see that truck? I can't explain that. 
They I can't explain it to you. They saw the, before I could tell them, I got run over by a truck. I had two sisters. They say two. his new name is Angel Truck Truck. <laughs> <laughs> I get all kinds of names, man. <laughs> but look, I can't explain that, brother. But look at this, though. A truck is not alive. Right. A truck has no spirit. So what the hell was it that ran us? And remember, my sisters, two, two of my sisters was in the other room, and they both saw, three of us saw this green truck. Man, listen, man, it do, it do some strange things that goes unexplained, man. I don't, I don't yeah. just throw it to the side. So this is why it's so important what we, uh, 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 that we be careful when we talk about the mother planes as reported by Elijah Muhammad. Now, what is No, no, no. We, we still gonna stay there. So look, so let me tell you. You have to be careful. You seen a green truck. But check this out. The reason, the reason why we saw this green truck and the spirits and the spooks that we saw is because our brains... Now remember, I, I, I was raised in Mississippi. People in Mississippi, the spook, some of the spookiest folks ever. And my grandmother was filling our heads with all these, and the dead people gonna rise from the grave. And you know, she was telling us stories like that. So our minds is filled up with all this spooky fictional nonsense. And remember, we only use 10% of our brain. The rest of the brain don't have nothing else to do. I figure, this is my belief, I figure, our brain, because our brains were so filled up with that, somehow my brain, my sisters, all of us, we was connected with all this spooky stuff and we had the same shared experience. Because I haven't seen no, no spiritual truck, no ghosts, no goblins, ever since I said, I'm done with that crap. Everything mm -hmm. has a reason, everything is logical. I haven't seen, never all these spooky things that I've experienced in my life, once I said I'm done with it, I don't believe in that crap no more. It ain't real. And believe me, now look, I was on a live stream and got spooked out. I was on a live stream talking because it's still in me. Even though I'm telling you right now, oh man, all that old spooky spiritual stuff, it's still in me. So you see it right now. You about to run. Uh, you about to go grab a say? knife and stab a truck. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but go, ahead, go crazy for us real quick. This will go viral. Go crazy. I, I don't. I, they would love to see that, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> that lady that was on the show would love to see it. <laughs> oh, oh, her, her, and her click would love to see that. I had a video. Uh, some of my, uh, my, uh, my deacon. Shout out to the deacons of reality out there. De deacons of reality production. They took one of my videos and and looped it to make it look like I was going. La, 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 they thought that was me doing that for real. <laughs> they said, "Look, he went crazy." They took they took me going la la la, la and they looped it and then made it. <laughs> they say that's the they say that's the hog up in you got you sleeping <laughs> and dreaming crazy dreams. So let me ask you. <laughs> Somebody say, "Our car was driving that truck. I <laughs> run you over. You keep on playing." <laughs> Man, this is a good audience. Hey, brothers in the NOI, yeah. don't be all mad, man. We just having a conversation. Yeah. Hey, because hey, hey, actually, I'm... actually, brother Tahaka, I, I want to, I want to talk about the NOI, but I, it's some other stuff that yeah, we yeah, need. It's to... good. We're going to talk about the NOI. We're going to talk about. We're going to dance around a little bit. Yeah, but we're going to dance just... around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to just pick on NOI because no, it's a lot of we crazy stuff. stuff. On NOI, then we go to the other stuff because yeah. you, you gave me a list and the two of them things that you pointed out was the mothership and Yakub. So I want to talk about yeah. that in a minute. Um, yeah. But do you believe in Master Farad Muhammad as being God in person or God in the person of Master Farad Muhammad? Do you believe in that anymore? No, I don't believe in uh, I don't I don't acknowledge God at all, period. That's it. You just yeah. wake up, eat cornflakes and keep it moving. Damn Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you, who do you think Master Farad Muhammad was? What do you, what do you, was he a good man? Was he? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. What what would be your description? Because at one point you seen him as God, God yeah. in person, and at some point you reject that. But how do you see him now? 
as well as the I, Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I've always seen them, even though we're taught that Master Farad Muhammad was God and Elijah Muhammad was the messenger, I always seen Elijah Muhammad sort of like my father figure. I never saw him like uh, this, this messenger, divine guy. I always viewed Elijah Muhammad like my grandfather. Right. He just a he was a good he was a he was a, to me when I was a little boy growing up he was just a good father figure to me because if I ran into problems or had or had or had questions I could go to message to the black man our savior has arrived I went to my grandfather for these these different answers and what Elijah Muhammad was taught me as a little boy I was able look I'm eight nine years old I'm able to have conversations with grown folks. You know, the preachers and the pastors and my, my teachers at school, they're like, where are you getting all this stuff from? Because I'm filling my head up with all these different teachings. And at that particular point in time, those teachers was, was right on point. So I'm a little boy with all these masterful, this, this, all this wisdom. I just saw him as a, like a grandfather figure. I never called him the divine. I never called him message Elijah Muhammad. He was just Elijah Muhammad, like a brother, like my grandfather. I never saw him like that. And I never, they, people in the temple, in the mosque, oh, the divine messenger and my relatives. I told you I had my relatives. They, oh, the messenger, oh, my holy apostle. Those words never came out of my mouth. I always just, to me, he was just a man. He'd take a dump like me. He'd take a whiz like me. He was just like my grandfather. That's all. And Master Farah Muhammad, he was just simply his teacher to me, not no God or nothing like that on this high level. He was just a man that taught a grandfather. That's the way I looked at it. I, I wasn't, I didn't, I, I never got deep into the holy apostle and the divine. And I, I just, I never got into deep like that. They was just people to me. Elijah Muhammad so, was just a person. Is that, is that how you see them now? Just, yeah. Okay. That's how I see, that's how I really see them now. You know, I did. Because of the belief system, I saw them that way as normal people, but I still saw them as you know the divine because that's what the that's what the religious teachings teach. But now I'm completely that's how I view them now as completely just human beings that helped me grow up in my life. And well, you good, you good. Yeah, I'm what I was gonna say, um there's a lot of things that I didn't know. I didn't know about the Malcolm X thing, the assassination, all that crap that happened with Malcolm. I didn't, I didn't know those things until the eighties. I didn't know. Nobody told me about the Malcolm X thing. And you Elijah know Muhammad. Malcolm X got assassinated into the eighties. I didn't know. I had no idea. I, I never heard about Malcolm until. What Muhammad 80, Mas, he was a part of. Huh? The Muhammad Mosque in Mississippi wasn't talking about that. There was no Muhammad Mosque in Mississippi. Muhammad's temple. When I was when I was little, was it Muhammad's temple? No. Oh, y'all just had literature. There might have been a Muhammad's temple in Memphis because we we live on the Mississippi side. There might have been a Muhammad temple in Memphis, but I told you my people wasn't interested. So I was a little. I didn't. I wasn't able to really get off into the teachings like you, I wanted to. Until I got you, drunk. When you when did you was you actually a registered member? of a mosque or a temple or you were just into it as a child? As a child, I was just, I was just interested and my people helped me by giving me all the literature because they, they saw how I wanted to be part of it, but so, I couldn't be, I was too young. Oh, so eventually you never became a registered member. That's the key thing because a lot of people don't understand that as a registered member of the NOI and a follower of NOI is two different things. I became a registered member uh -oh. under Lewis. Louis Farquhar's okay. organization. The reason why I say this, family, because on the internet, right, you um, see a lot of Moors. And a lot of Moors on the internet, they're not members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Uh, and they try to be an authority on the teachings of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. And the same thing with NOI. You have registered members and you have people that follow the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan as well as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, but they're not registered members or never been registered members. Mm -hmm. And so when you say that you are a that you were a registered member, I think uh, that gives you more 
not saying it gives you more credibility, but I think you have more to stand on because you actually went through the whole process. You ever become yeah. FOI? Yeah, I became a FOI in Louis Farrakhan's organization when he rebuilt the, 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 the temple there. Okay. And uh, I joined I joined in 1981, um, Muhammad Moss number seven. Where, where was that at? Muhammad Moss number seven. And where and what's what city again? Because I was reading the comment. Yeah, that's that's uh, New York. That's what I said. Mom, that, that's Malcolm demonstration. Yeah, yeah. Didn't actually, Dr. Khaled go there too? T said or Farrakhan I think too? So. Well, actually, when I was in when I was under Farrakhan, um, he was Minister Harold X, and he uh -oh. was the, he was the minister in California, number twenty seven. And I briefly met him a few times. Briefly. I never really had a lot of contact with Brother Khalid. Uh, but when I knew, when I first knew Brother Khalid, he was Brother Harold X in California, number 27. Oh, you said Khalid Muhammad. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Before he became Because Khalid. I don't think he became Khalid Muhammad until the 90s. I'm not really sure. I think it was it was the 90s. Mr. Farrakhan gave him Khalid. Really sure. Because he was Harold X for a long time. Okay. Got you. Now, let me ask you about the Yakub story. Can you break down the Yakub story for us, so 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 we can get a grasp of that? What do you? What is your take on the Yakub story? But first, how does that story go? Well, Yakub, and this is the thing about religious teachings. Also, these persons, Yakub, they never have last names. I always wonder, you know. <laughs> Moses, Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, you know, nobody, Jesus, you know, they, nobody never That's have like no a European life. thing, though. European did that when they own people, maybe. Well, Europeans now have, they have last name. They owned each other. Or we own them. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know. But, but that is something <laughs> to think about. These folks, these folks don't have, well, anyway, Yakub was a, a, a scientist. And he when he was a little, and when he was a little boy, when he was born, he had an unusual large cranium, large head. So I guess that means he had a lot more intelligence, more brain power, I guess, you know. So he told his uncle when he was little, according to the story, I'm going to make a man that's going to rule us. And his uncle said, you're going to make somebody that's going to bring bloodshed and, you know, violence or whatever. And he said, he just kept it to himself and smiled. I'm going to make a new a new man. So according to the story, he was a scientist. He he went to the best universities and, and whatever. I guess you would say he's a geneticist or whatever. And they he started, he became some kind of preacher because in order to get this done, he had to have subjects. He had to have people in order to get this started. So some, some, he was some kind of preacher or whatever. And he began to get these followers. And it got to the point where the people who was in power saw him and his people as a troublemaker and they banished them and they end up sending them to uh, what they call the, the island of Pilan or Patmos. And this is where this is where the white man, the process of making the white man, because Yakub understood that within the black gene, that there was a recessive and he wanted to break it down all the way down to the end of that. Now, this, this is my, this is my thing while we on this subject. <clears throat> the original man is the black man, correct? That's what we we're taught. The original man is the black man. So when you think of the black man, you, you have to think of the darkest person on the planet in order for them to be called black. Now, brown is the recessive gene, but the black, the original man is the black man. Brown is recessive. Now, how can we call ourselves or claim to be the original people or the original black man when we're we're brown. 
We're brown. We're not black. We are recessive. And some of us, some of us are so light, we look damn near white. But we run around here calling talking about, I'm the black man, original man. Where your melanin at? You're not even black. Uh oh. So I got a problem. You know, that's not my teaching. That's your teaching because you're saying you're making a claim that the original man is the Asiatic black man. Black, black. Black is not brown. Now, this is what they would say. Well, you know, brother, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there, brother. The black man creates all kinds of colors and blah, blah, blah. That's what they would say. Your problem is when you are pure, when you're pure, that's rare. Like if you go among crocodiles, the majority of crocodiles are going to be green, gray, tan looking creatures. Now and then they will produce a lighter shade or albino or something like that. That's rare. That's not an everyday thing. And most times if there's a mutation or something that's out of the ordinary in nature, a lot of times those animals are not able to breathe. And because of the mutation, they cannot camouflage themselves and hide from enemies or whatever. They end up being prey and blah, blah, blah. Right. The pure, the pure black man does not produce brown, red, yellow bones and all this other stuff. The pure black man would not produce that. The only way you can do that is you're going to have to get that. You're going to have to. You're going to have to get that from up out of the brown gene. That's the recessive of black. Black, pure black is not going to produce that. But they say, Brown is not a shade of black. Oh, I see what you're trying to say. I, yeah. I, I, Brown is not a, a shade of black. You sure? Now, there are different kinds of shades of black. If you go to the paint store and you ask for what, what kinds of black do you have? You don't expect them to bring brown. Now, there's some dark brown that can look close to being black, but that's dark brown. That's not black. But anyway, according back, going back to the story. That's some heavy. That's a, <laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a question. But according to the story, what happened was Yaku and his people, they set up a process in order to bring this, this recessive, the ultimate recessive gene out of the black man. And the only way they could do it, as you know, all the people had to be blacky, blackity black, dark as hell. But again, you always have somebody that's going to be born with the recessive. So what Yakub started doing was he made sure that the lighter would marry. That he would not, they would not allow the darker to mix with the lighter. Only that the light had to mix with the light. And if a couple, two black people came together. If two black people came together, they wouldn't allow them to marry. You have to marry because the, in order to get that recessive gene, and this is called Mendelism in science. Many of you have raised guppies and aquarium fish. There's something called Mendelism. And you can easily do this experiment. There, there's truth to this. I think we go on a commercial break. No, no, you got you no commercial right. break? No, we all right. Go ahead. You good. Okay, yeah. So you could do this with roaches or guppy fish, some kind of animal that breathes real fast. You can do this experiment yourself. You can get a dark. It don't even have to be a skin color. It don't have to be a color. It could be any kind of trait that you want. The only thing you have to do is breed, make breed the ones with the same trait that you're looking for together. You got to separate them away from the, the ones that you don't want. And that's what happened with Yaku. So what happened was because of this process and they would kill the, the black babies and save the light skinned babies. After a while, all the, um, all the dark skinned people started dying off and left the brown, brown people. Now, mind you, Yakub himself did not live to see the white man. He did not see the white man. But this process, oh. this process, because I think they said, according to the teachings, that he only lived to be like 600 years old or something to that effect. 
And that's another question, brother. This, hold this up, hold age. up, hold up. Before we get to that, remember that. Write that thought down because I want to ask you. Okay. How how is it that you you say that the quote unquote black and we're talking about the adjective, you know, see, yeah. boys be scared to use the term black. We're talking about an adjective. We're not adjective. talking about a noun. A person yeah. cannot be black as a noun, but they can be black as an adjective. Adjective. An adjective, because we mm -hmm. had blue black people uh, in, in North Africa, in, in, in the interior of Africa, blue black, blue, blue black. Yeah. And yes. so, 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 so when Moors get a little bit goofy and stuff, but I ain't black, I ain't black, I ain't black. Well, in this conversation, we're speaking of black, not as a noun, but as an adjective. adjective. And an adjective describes a noun. A noun is a, pe noun is people, personal thing. People, per what is it? People, person, place, a thing. Right. Mm -hmm. And the adjective describes that. So from the adjective perspective of a black person with descriptive, you say that you can't get brown from that, but in that in the, in, the, in, the, in the same vein, though, you can get an albino from that, though. So mm -hmm. how do you say that you can't get brown from black, but you can get pale or reddish or whatever you choose to call the albino from black? Well, the gene, well, according to... to uh... The gene pool, those things are are there, but that's not what, that's not what, I mean, it's recessive. It can always appear, but in a pure, in pure when you, if you purebred, that's a rarity. You're not going to have a people and call yourself black and you producing all these different colors. That defeats the purpose of being black. If you're able to produce all these different, different colors, and how are you able to do that if if you're original and you are your dominant gene is 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 black. Right. The reason why, well, we can we gonna we probably have to do a, a part two on this because I want to talk. You always coming around. You all right. Yeah, but I, because there's a lot of things that we talk about and believe in, we have to start to question things. So just so like let's, let's do this. Hold up one second. Yeah. So when we look at something like this. When we look at this sister like this, now that's blue black. Yeah. Is that black? Yeah. You? Yeah. That's dark. <laughs> you, you squinting and grinning, man. Don't you be over there uh, uh, getting the deep breath and all. Yeah, that's dark. Man, let me take yeah. you off the screen because you, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's dark. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. dark. You act like you was going through some. Calm down, brother. It's a picture anyway. Yeah. That's dark. But you're saying that you can't get brown from that? You're not gonna, you can get, you're gonna, you can get brown from that, but it's rare among among her people. If her people, that's what that's who and what they are to produce some fighter, that would be very, very rare. I Matter think of fact, I get what you're saying. I think I yeah. get what you're saying. I think I get what you're saying. Let me bring it all together. You're saying if Yakub grabbed a whole tribe of blue black people there is no way to produce a brown gene from a blue black people is that what you're trying to say he would have to have a lighter person in order to start the transitioning from the blue black to the lighter right that's what that's what he done like this is the lady that you just put up yeah it's like the lady you put on on the on here on the on the screen among her people because that brown gene is there, they are going to produce now and then these, you know, rare, lighter skinned people. And what they done was take the lighter skin, these people, and they breed among themselves. They would not allow them to mix with the with the darker skinned people in order to separate that brown away from the from the the, the actual dark, like the way that sister was. That's the way you. So you, that's the only way that you can get that out of there. Right. People say it and looks like- And if you keep uh, doing that process, the dark, the dark is going to slowly disappear and leave you with the brown. And if you keep that process going, the brown is going to disappear, going to leave you with the red and 
yellow. Pretty soon you're gonna end up with an albino looking people, and that's where they said that the Caucasian people are. So, 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 so for the Yakub store, you don't think that he got that rarity a couple times to produce and break down to the European? Is that is that plausible? Well, it took. Uh, Did, I don't. Me, I don't agree with the, uh, the, the, the 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 time period seems to be um, too short in order to pull this off. But according to the teachings, he did it within a few hundred years. He was well, able to to breed the people out and and get you know and, and separate. Let me because I think the white this. man was made. He it took it only took six hundred years, I think, or so it to create the white man. So they say he's he's been here for six thousand years. So yeah, six thousand years ago, the, according to the teachers, the European didn't even exist. Um, right. Some 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 anthropology would would disagree though. They would say that uh, they found basically Neanderthal that looked like Europeans. Um, but that's the European too, so we can't trust him too much. We can't give them too much play. But that's 6,000 years of Europeans being here. Um, how did that uh, mesh with your way of thinking? Do you think Europeans been here longer than 6,000 years? I think I think they have been here longer than, than 6,000 years. That's a very short period of time. And, you know, what they're talking, what they're, they're saying, that's, 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 that's very short for, because, I mean, we're, we're human beings. We're not roaches and guppies and stuff. It's going to take us uh, some time in order for us to take a certain group of people and go through that process in order to cause. Oh, you know, I don't know exactly how much time it would take, but it seemed to me like it, it's, it's pretty short. But we're just going to say that it was done. That's according to the teachings. That's how the white man come into being. OK. OK. Now, now, before we bounce off of that real quick. Um. How do you believe that the European came into existence? Then, if that's not so, me personally, I I don't trip off of it. I just know that he's here. I got to deal with him. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is if you if you abandoned one philosophy, and normally we abandon it because we adopt something better. I don't think intelligent people say, well, I just, man, that's just fairy tale. Forget about it. But did you mm -hmm. adopt, like for instance, when you say Jesus don't exist, the God don't exist, the devil don't exist, you adopted that you uh, are the one that's going to make or mar your future. You gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You gonna be the one that make it happen. You see what I'm saying? So right. you adopted something that supersede the previous. So I'm saying you didn't yeah. adopt something else like, okay, this is what happened and this is how Europeans come into existence. How you come well, into existence after you answer that? I'm going to let you. This, this, is, this is how I think now. A lot of these things we may never know. I just accept things for what they are. I just accept the reality of things. And I don't want to hear, and I'm not interested in uh, fabricated stories. It must, it must pass the criteria of logic and reason, common sense, and being analytical. There are some things we may never know. And I get that. And it's some things we shouldn't even put a priority on. Uh, a baby eagle does not care about <laughs> where they come from. When the eagle comes out the nest, the baby eagle looks down and says, either I'm going to live or die. It flaps its wings and it takes off. The baby eagle does not care about the great, great, grand eagle from 50 million years ago and all this kind of good stuff. The only thing on, the, on that e baby eagle's mind is, am I going to live or am I going to die? Am I going to survive? That's that's it. That's that's it. Now, if you find out these things, that's fine. But we put a lot of priority and a lot of energy on things that really don't really mean nothing. 
It really don't even, it don't, it don't even really don't break real quick and put the link in for anybody that want to ask you a question. Then we're going to talk about some of these other stories in our community. Let's, okay. Just when you thought it was over, there's more and more and more. So you didn't. Me. Now there's audio and video. Because um, you know what? I'm not anybody that's interested in you. You're not interesting to you. God, my neck looks like it's gone. Only on Tahakabay.com. <laughs> we back <laughs> in the building. So, so oh, yeah. at, if, if, if anybody wished to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he be playing with the wrong one, man. Talking crazy, man. I'm telling you, I'm kamikaze, man. I got too much stuff for you. You can talk about my mama, my wife, my dog. I'm going to show yours in the raw. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Who is that Moorish World TV? Who is that Moorish World TV talking to? Man, I got a new equipment. The Europe. I meant to say that the European. At the at the guitar center, I said, "Man, look, I use um, uh, uh, personas." He said, "This is a new type of system. It's not new, but everybody uses it now." Uh, I suggest you take it. It's not much different in price, so it's actually called. If anybody interested in it, and they, I'm not getting paid for this. It's actually called the Vote. Can y'all hear me? It's called the Vote. I show it to y'all after the show or something, but it's called the vote. So, uh, yeah, we getting we getting right, we getting right over here. We getting ready for the for the international podcast. You know, uh, uh, criminal and crazy. Uh, me and Angel <laughs> taking the show on the road. So I got somebody that hit the link, um, brother. Uh, okay. Uh oh, Alquan. He now here we go. Now, Alqu Alquan. Oh man, that's my troll. That's a troll kept been no, following but, me. But, no, but on Morse <laughs> World TV, just like last night, I opened up the mic last night for those who trolled me. They could ask me anything. Yeah. Remember, I did that. Yes, so sir. On, so on Morse World TV, we allow those people that want to uh, express themselves to come on in. You know what I'm saying? We yes, allow sir. them to come on in. So with that being said. Let's get Alquin up in here. <clears throat> we didn't fi finish that the, the Yaku story. No, well, hold hey, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna get back to it. We ain't going nowhere yet. Uh come okay. on, Alquin. Man, it's been quite a while. Uh <laughs> uh it's a Alquan, pleasure. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure uh to to meet with your uh, guests that you have here tonight and he's my friend and so you better be careful oh yeah there, there would be nothing not, nothing but respect. Alcohol, alcohol. There, there would be nothing but respect tonight as always uh absolutely, absolutely now i heard this gentleman come on uh i think it was about a month ago and he was speaking about a mississippi campaign and you should have chilled huh oh you are he was, right. he was speaking about a mississippi campaign that can be the salvation for the black people. And I, I just wanted to ask a few questions regarding that because and I wanted him to assume that I'm a person looking to uh, get down with this Mississippi campaign. How, how does one get started with this? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Mr. Angel Snup Nup. What was the question again? I didn't. I didn't catch. Assuming that I'm a person who wants to get down with this Mississippi campaign, how does one get started with this? Well, actually, uh, you already know. You've been around since I introduced the uh, Mississippi campaign way back in 2018. You don't have no interest in the Mississippi campaign. Well, that's and why so, I said soon that I have interest in it. Well, I mean, you don't have no. You don't have an interest. Sell it to me. Sell it to me, brother. No, nah, there's no need to sell. You've been around since 2018. I'll take that question for somebody that's new. You got the audience. They want. They might want to know, too. Well, I would like for somebody new. You already know. I, actually, I don't. I, I'm ignorant to it. That's why I'm asking you questions. Again. No, you're not I'm ignorant. Sure. Sir, you're not ignorant. So, so hold on. I don't want to get off track. Maybe, maybe y'all would you have a would you have a sit down conversation with Alquan about the Mississippi 
uh, before the people because uh, maybe he didn't get the answers that he wanted right. uh, previously. Alquan has been around since the introduction of Mississippi campaign way back in 2018. Uh, a few months ago, I asked to come on his program. And he if he didn't want me to come on his program would, to talk about would, would you allow me campaign. would you allow me to moderate and time moderate uh but but first it got to be two sided it can't be uh an attack on Angel Snupnup and he's <clears throat> uh defending himself um, of course this is not an attack you know no 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 what I'm saying is Al Alquan so I think the way that a good a good show would be is what is the alternative to the Mississippi program. So he can critique your plan as you critique his. You well, no, I think, I, well, no, no, that, that's not a good one because I actually want to find out the merits of it. And if it's good enough, I'll actually get down with it. But what, with I, what I'm saying is he says that you have been following it. Is it true you've been following it since 2018? I, I've been aware of it. Yeah, so so since 2018, you being aware of it, and you ain't get on board yet. That's most likely you ain't gonna get on board. Well, no, absolutely. No, he, he that's what I'm saying. He never. That's what I'm saying. He, he never explained uh, the details of how people are supposed to get started. He just said this is something that we need, but he never said. Where do we sign up? Where do we sign up at Angel Stuff? Now, people ready to sign up right now. Okay. <laughs> Where you sign First thing up? that you need Where to do, brother Alquan, sign up. He want to sign up right, right now. Send me an email, and then go. from the email, from the email, you tell me what you have to offer, what you want to do, or I tell you, or give you an assignment of what we need to do, and we'll go from there. Okay, well, you said what I have to offer, but I thought it was what you had to offer. Uh, you're, go. you're coming. No, you're, 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 you're coming. Joining, you're joining a movement, so we want to know your skill right. set, basically. Yeah, well, I have a I have a large variety of skills, but I mean, for three years, I want to know how, how what, what what is the directive? Do, when do I start to move to Mississippi and ha and have you done it? And so we can set up the shop and get busy. I don't understand what you what you what you well, coming what I'm from. Well, I'm asking what what has what, what was the jump off point to, to get this thing into motion so that more people can jump on board. In the very beginning. The number one thing that we need to try to do is to get people to know that it even exists, that this option exists. And we've been trying to promote since 2018. People cannot make a decision or talk about anything unless they first know about it. Right. So it's about promotion. It's about promotion. Okay. And the Mississippi campaign is not normal well it's I think, not like I think, open I think we it's not get that on another show bro because i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to belabor that point i would love okay. if, if my brother alquan would have been here when we was talking about the mississippi campaign right we could, oh, oh, oh i was too. here I, I just couldn't get, find a way to get on <laughs> oh man we got to do it again then we got to do it again. Yeah. i don't want to belabor well, I, the point of well, what we're I, talking about here come on man i've been waiting a month for this bro not today bro we on it we on this topic right now and then we got other people waiting to address the topic I don't want to get too far off the topic, bro. We could we could do it the next opening that Angel stuff. Now I bring both of y'all on here, but I don't want to belabor that point. And well, this is well, this is actually an important topic because my man's trying to promote a program, so he needs to. Bro, I got to move on this. to the next caller, my brother. Uh, All right, so the Mississippi campaign is unimportant. I get it. All right. All right. All right. So with that being said, I, I got to get the next the next caller, and so uh, my brother can finish his thought. You follow what I'm saying? We got the angels yes, coming up in the building. You know what I mean? <laughs> one second. Shout and out to Keish Wash. Shout out to Keish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shout out to my people. Dick is around in the, in the chat. There no count. Rowdy's simple crew. So we got so we got revolutionary voice in the building. Okay. Revolutionary voice. Revolutionary voice. Are you there? Yeah, it's starting to come in all uh, foggy now, uh, kind of uh, fuzzy. It's sounding a little fuzzy there. Uh, uh, peace, love, uh, Islam, black power. And um, yeah, I would uh, ask uh, 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 Angel, um, as far as the, uh, the original black man, uh, um, as you were saying, uh, can only make 
And I can, I agree. Uh, the original black man can only make black, you know, and with the original black woman. But mm -hmm. uh, as but then you have the lighter uh, shades that go down. I don't know why I got this buzzing in the line all of a sudden. But uh, uh, let's see. When you got all these different shades, I think it goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Um, when uh, in Genesis three sixteen, when uh, uh, when they when it says the Adam seed and the and the serpent seed would always be enemies, and I think the serpent was the white man in the in the in the garden, and 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 uh, that's why uh, Cain slew Abel. You know, uh, because they had that uh, uh, had that gene in them. So, so what do you think about that, Angel? Uh, uh, you think maybe it, it could have came all the way from the Garden of Eden, even? You know, oh. and then and then when the uh, when the slave owners uh, uh, when when they started uh, getting uh, uh, frisky with the uh, with with the with the uh, with uh, with our uh, uh, great 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 grandmothers, uh, uh, um, and then they started uh, uh, trying to do the Willie uh, Lynch oh, syndrome uh, and trying to cover it up with the oh. Willie Lynch syndrome. Bro, Say, oh bro. no, they just made a lighter a lighter. Hold up, bro. You you belabor, you're belaboring the question. We got other people waiting, my brother. We got other people waiting. So oh, the question is, so the question is, uh, uh, did did it come from the Garden of Eden? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm saying uh, uh, it, 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 it's not like uh, they didn't exist, and then they just all of a sudden appeared. They they just came out the caves. That's all. Uh, mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, they came out the caves, but they all came from the Garden of Eden. That's what okay. I think. Uh, gotcha, I just gotcha. want your your opinion on that, uh, my brother Angel. Come on, Angel. Yeah. Well. You're speaking from a, a religious uh, point of view, and uh, I, I don't know. I can't speak from a religious point of view, but you also made other statements, and you're on point, actually. You, you're going somewhere. If you if you void or mute the religious side of it, you, you really are, are on to something. You're, you're on the same uh, wavelength that I, that I am, but... Uh, well, if you want to uh, uh, kind of like get off of the religious uh, uh, aspect of that, uh, uh, I can dig that. But what I'm trying to say is, is that they were already there uh, when we were there. Uh, uh, they just uh, it, it just got to flip the script some kind of way and um, uh, uh, and and went different directions and, and maybe over the years forgot that they that each other was there. You know, so uh, I'm just saying that I think I think uh, the the scripture part of it was when um, somebody foresee that Adam seed and the serpent seed would always be enemies, would always be at odds. So mm. and say Adam's Adam would have his foot on the serpent's uh, neck, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, but the serpent tried to flip the script and keep the foot on our necks. Now, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> just, just I, I like, I like where you're coming from with it, brother. Uh, but I know that um, uh, there's always uh, angels in the midst, and angels uh -huh. has always been men. You know, uh, like yeah. when uh, when they were looking for the uh, Christ in, in the tomb, there was a man okay, okay, uh, wearing okay, white. I, I, I gotta stop you. You you be you be going. You be going in. You be going in. <laughs> I gotta get the other people, brother. Okay. People. All right. Well, all right. Uh, uh, well, that was all my question for you, my brother. Is that we um, were uh, from the beginning? I That's gotta bring you on the yeah. show so Appreciate you can have your whole hour to express yourself. That's what I gotta do. Yeah, all right, my brother. Black power, peace, you. and love. Thank you. Love, Thank you. Brother. Thank right. you of all securities. Give yeah. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, um, one moment. I have uh, Conscious Rasta. Conscious Rasta, are you there? Let me move this screen. Conscious Rasta. Conscious Rasta. Going once. Going twice. Hit me in the comment section. I'll leave you back in the back room. Uh, if you're ready to say something, let me know. Oh, okay, hold up. Are you there, Conscious yeah. Rasta? Yeah, I think my microphone was uh, muted. 
So uh, greetings, everyone. Um, greetings. My question, my question is, um, if we are the original people, then wouldn't it make sense that we are the original caveman? Uh -oh. you, 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 you feel me? So even like, so you, you see when I hear the Igbo Israelite brothers, them say uh -huh. that Esau was a, the white first white man. But then if, if um, Isaac and father were, uh, it, it was black, was a black man and Rebecca and Israel, Jacob were black. So how can them be the first white man? That is my question. Uh oh, um, that's a good question. That's a good question. And also, when you look at these teachings, and right. we always, and I understand why we think the way that we do, because this cracker, this peck of wood, this devil, this these these people have done melanated people, dark skin people. My apology, family. We had to cut the video short because Conscious Rasta came in with a covered face and try to sabotage Moore's World TV by putting an unaccepted video on the screen in hopes that it will be reported to YouTube to take the channel down. Unfortunately for him, we caught it. And we will continue this conversation on the next broadcast. Peace and love. He said he's to Harker Bay, Toronto Johnson. Huh? I call yeah. for a mortgage court on Brother Toronto Johnson. And anybody who was trying to get him out of bed with this scandal. They want to get up. With these videos of me and my wife defrauding the people. Okay. I never saw my brothers and sisters serving these packages when I was with Dawid Ali and them and Taj and them used to come to Chicago. Uh, hey. I laid them old boys to rest. They was dead sleep anyway. Keep walking, they keep talking. I probably kept the charge and don't care what any say. Nobody. Yeah, I'm the people's grand chief and the people's grand chief ain't seen a man I can't beat. Only the gods is my equal. You mortals, you just my sequel. You just my sequel. What the 85ers? Dip, dip, divers. Trying to, try to sell the lavas. You already did. Who done got up in your head? Break free. You want to know who sent me? Who sent you? Nobody. I'm the people.